Staff at this aid agency in Florida sort through food and other items donated by the public. Bins have been set out to collect contributions for Haiti. We got so many cars today, it's unbelievable. It's really great to see that so many people care in the community. These thousands of bottles of water will be heading for Haiti, as well as clothes and other supplies. But aid agencies have to figure out exactly what is needed and then find ways to get the items into the country. There are about 200,000 Haitians in Florida, including Michel Dorsion. He says Haitians around the world want to contribute resources. There's more than four to five million people throughout of the world uh, in the diaspora. And that is a very strong number. And if this diaspora, it is the time for them to get together and pick up the plate and help out. The chief of mission at Orlando's Haitian consulate is helping coordinate relief efforts here. This is a time that we need um, all um, the help from, from the friends of Haiti to come together, the communities to come together and assist us because this is going to take a very long time. This group of missionaries from a Christian school in Orlando is trapped in Haiti, including the 15-year-old daughter of the school's principal. We've not heard directly from her, so as a mama, your heart kind of goes, I'd like to hear her voice. But again, we've heard from others that are there that um, she is safe. We're taking donations for Haiti. Meanwhile, staff at aid agencies such as Harvest Time International continue to take calls from Americans offering cash and supplies for Haiti.